accommodations can I request daily reports um, from my child's day? No, 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 no. Let's not do that. So we're going to assume competency. Um, it is a requirement that school districts track accommodations. Um, you can deny a student FAPE by not um, tracking and implementing accommodations on a 504. You can also deny them FAPE by not tracking and implementing accommodations on an IEP. Um, so I would do a different, a different approach. I would say, you know, have, do you find that her accommodations have been successful? I was in a meeting the other day. I won't tell you where. And I said, so um, can you tell me about the student's accommodations? And the lady just looked at me. I said, and she said, well, he doesn't have a goal in my class. Oh, and on the IEP document, the accommodations are actually broken out by her class. It's a specials class. And she said, well, he comes with accommodations, like it's a Christmas package. Um, and she goes, and she listed a couple. I said, would you be surprised to know that he has 22 accommodations? And she unfortunately said, yes. So um, I could be wrong, but it's my experience. Um, and again, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Um, when the teacher bundle goes out at the beginning of the year, you guys should pull open records. And we have a form in the academy if you would like that to pull open records. The teacher bundle is an email that goes out from the district to math, science, social studies, reading, language arts, right? I have never seen, not saying it doesn't happen, I've never seen the teacher bundle, which is where they're going to email um, important components of your child's IEP to the teachers ever, 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 ever go out to the ancillary teachers or specials teachers. Um, so um, library, um, recess, math, computer, art, welding, swimming, PE. So you have your accommodations all day long. So that might be something you want to look at when you do an open records request. There will be an email in August that is a teacher bundle that will go out that will show you the email addresses for the teachers that received your student's IEP document. That's why I always say at the beginning of the year, you need to show up with what I call the Zach pack. You need to show up with a copy of, uh, sort of if you were my client, I would ask for an intake form that included, tell me about your kiddo, how amazing he is, what he struggles with, what he'll work for, and how to contact the parent. And then I put a four by six picture on there and I hand it to everybody that's going to provide my child an educational product. Because the truth is, teachers don't have time to read the full IEP. Teachers do not read the FIE. Teachers do not read IEP progress reports. And God bless teachers, like really. So you've got to partner with them so that they know your kiddo. And um, we can't wait till your IEP, you're in your IEP meeting in February to go, yeah, he's really been struggling. So that's something that I suggest that you partner with the school right out of the gate.